the other hand, Lady Akuna feels that the Guardian Zaru is using his power. How strange. He had never even used a little bit of his power since millennia ago. But now, for some reason, he's using it. Is he fighting? I don't know. I just hope he's not getting into trouble, that idiot. Otherwise, he'll have to deal with me. I've already forgiven him enough. He knows that if he fails me again, I will kill him. No, ma'am. Asuna, please calm down. He's probably testing his powers or something similar, as one would think. In fact, I doubt that he's testing his powers. Surely something's going on that he's trying to hide from Azuna. That's why he released so little power. But even though he released very little of his power, she could feel it. It's impressive. Meanwhile, Goku would say to the Guardian Zaru, that I'll have to finish you off. No, Goku, you shouldn't fight yet. Remember that you haven't finished recovering. Passing the intermediate dimension left you in a very bad state. You should wait until you recover completely. No, Neen. What you're saying. I can't let you be the one to fight. It's not fair. You should listen to her, Goku. She's right. You lost a lot in that hell of a place. I guess I can't do anything. That's fine. I'll let you fight. I see. This will be even more boring. I'll finish them off in moments, and then I'll eliminate you, you impure bastard. This one would think... I shouldn't increase my power so much. She might notice. <sighs> oh, it can't be. I feel that somehow she's getting suspicious. I must finish these fuckers off quickly before she notices and murders me for this. Neen would tell this guy, then I'll show you my power. Neen at that moment would begin to release all his power, creating a great aura around him. That's impressive. I'd never seen Neen use so much power. Perhaps he had been hiding it all this time. But what? At what point did he get so much power? I'll have to finish them as soon as possible. Neen would appear above him, giving him a big blow that caused him to shoot out, crashing against some rocks nearby. Interesting. In the end, you didn't go as I thought. That attack really hurt me. I didn't expect it. Unbelievable! In one attack he did that! Then it's my turn. Go feel the true divine power. An impure like you deserves to die. Divine pressure. At that moment, Neen's whole body began to get very hard. She began to feel her whole body heavy. This did not let her move even a little, making her unable to do anything at that moment. She felt that she would almost explode, since she had felt that something burning was squeezing her more and more. No, oh, damn it! what the hell did you do to Neen? You're miserable. I regret to tell you that she'll never be able to free herself from that seal. She'll die inside of herself. Her frustration will be so much that her mind and body will not support it, and she'll end up dying. I thought she could do it, but apparently that guy used a lot of power in that technique. Goku was still recovering, and he couldn't fight yet. Since Neen was immobile, he was not able to move because of the seal. Kagi, Eren, and Zumi had to join forces to fight the Guardian Zaru. We must fight this bastard until Goku can fully recover. I see. So you finally deign to fight me before I kill him. If I were you, I would also fight to the death even knowing that my opponent is far superior. But you must also accept your own fate, your own death. Since you entered the Divine Multiverse, you imposed your death sentence. Shut up, you unhappy bastard. The only one who will die here will be you. You shouldn't have messed with us. We had told you that we're not looking for trouble, but you decided to ignore it. When the Saiyan Goku ends your life, I hope I don't meet another one like you. At that moment, the three of them would increase all their powers, and this was felt throughout the universe, drawing all the attention of the supreme deity, Azuna. So, if he got into trouble, that idiot, I'll go see what he caused. Don't! Wait, Mrs. Azuna, please stop! Don't go to that place! At that moment, her right hand, Kana, did not want her to get angry, since the last time she'd almost finished with the divine universes, even though they have a great seal that protects them. She feared that this would happen again, her greatest fear but this one could not avoid it. The supreme entity Azuna was heading to where Zaru was. Meanwhile, everyone would attack this guy, putting him in trouble for a few minutes, but he seemed to be too strong for them. I told them that they're scum. What idiots thinking they could finish me off. Regrettably, this multiverse will be erased of impure and pathetic beings like you. At that moment, the guardian Zaru would charge a great attack called the Divine Stake which would be about to perform it against the three. But all that time was enough for Goku to recover completely, and he would stop it. Now I feel like someone new. Leave them alone. Now you have to fight with me, you bastard. These guys are too annoying because they just don't accept their fate. This is already starting to piss me off. Die, you damn impure! He would throw himself against Goku, but Goku could stop him, and they would start to fight. 
Goku would give him a strong punch in the stomach which would make him spit blood. For a guardian of this multiverse, you're a little pathetic, don't you think? You don't have enough responsibility. I wouldn't be surprised if that Azuna that you named before wants to kill you. This would increase his powers to finish with Goku, but it wouldn't be enough. Goku would give him another blow that would make him fall to the ground. Goku would exercise his demon eye for the first time against someone, and it would make him suffer eternally. It is impossible. How is it that my powers are not enough to finish with this impure, where he obtained so much power? All of a sudden, I keep feeling pain, which is what he did to me. On the other hand, in the multiverse of demons, the Demon King had destroyed almost half of the multiverse. But finally, Zarama appeared in front of him. I've been looking for you non-stop, brother. Now I'm going to finish you. Damn you. What's wrong? I'm noticing him different. Maybe he's fallen under my father's curse. He doesn't seem to remember anything since the first fight I had with him. This time I'll kill you, brother. Meanwhile, Goku freed Nin from the seal and healed the others who were wounded on the ground. Damn Saiyan, what did you do to me? He would shout at Goku, but suddenly, the supreme entity, Azuna, had arrived at that place. No, it can't be here. It's all over. Kano would have tried to stop it, but this had been in vain. I see. So this was all about you. I can tell you are subjects of impure races. Forgive me, Great Azuna. I was not able to eradicate the threat. Please give me another chance. I will not fail you again. The Azuna entity would only look at him, and this one would say, I warned you a hundred times. At that moment, this one with a simple technique would eliminate the Guardian Zaru from existence leaving the others perplexed by this. But how? I eliminated him with a simple attack to that guy. How can it be possible? So you are Azuna, the one who apparently feared so much that useless one. The truth disappointed me. To be someone with that responsibility, it's pitiful. But what's wrong? The aura she transmits is very heavy. I can feel it as if her presence alone crushes my body. Call me impure because you have come to invade sacred territory. Don't you know this was totally forbidden? You wish to die. Goku, don't look her in the eyes or you might fall under her divine curse. Only those who are purebred can do that. How do you know that, Neen? Do you even know her? Millennia ago, my father was the one who told me. He thought that I would never in my entire existence be in front of this entity. But anyway, he had wanted to warn me. This would leave Azuna's right-hand woman, Kana, somewhat surprised and intrigued, who would think at that moment, impressive, so they know about it even though they are beings from another multiverse. Perhaps the guy who says that girl has had some contact with someone of our race? On the other hand, the Demon King and Zarama were about to fight. Brother, I see that you are still the same pathetic as always. Do you think you can beat me this time? Please don't make me laugh. Last time you disappointed me, and I let you live because I felt sorry for you. Now that won't happen again, brother. You will regret having let me live. Now I have awakened all my power, and I will crush you like an insect. At that moment, Zarama would think, So if he did, he broke his limits, and my father's curse was affected on him. No wonder he seems so different from how I last remembered him. That means he awakened that abysmal power within him. This will be interesting. But I can finally have a worthy fight with him. But I doubt he will be able to defeat me. He is still the same idiot as always. What is it that you are doubting so much, brother? Attack me, damn it. Zorama would only stay still, waiting for his brother's move. He wanted to test his speed to determine what his moves would be and counter them. So you don't plan to attack? What a coward you are. Then I'll attack, damn you. At that moment, the Demon King would throw himself against Zorama attacking him with such abysmal speed that Sarama himself could not even notice. The Demon King would give him a great blow, which made him be thrown thousands of kilometers away, creating an enormous impact when they collided, which almost destroyed the whole place where they were. It can't be. I couldn't even read his movements. It can't be. He's too fast. Then I'll fight for real. In that instant, Sarama would use all his power, and both had an abysmal battle which made the whole existence perceive this. Each blow they made caused a great devastating destruction, which was causing serious problems in the balance of the universes. And at that moment, Goku and the others had felt all this. What the hell? 
Where does all this power come from? So devastating. The Supreme Deity Azuna would ignore this and tell them, I told them to tell me why they have come to my multiverse, or I will disappear them. I have tried to tell them, but they have never allowed me to do so. I tried to explain it to that idiot Zaru, but it was impossible. What happens is that in this multiverse, there is someone who could end the curse of someone we know. And who the hell are you talking about, impure? What subject are you referring to? What is his name? It is the Demon King. He fell under the curse of his father, making him forget all his memories. But there was someone who was the love of his life, but they had to separate their love, because there was a huge problem, and that is that they were of very opposite races. Wait, it can't be that guy. It can't be him. I thought all this had already been settled after I defeated him. I see, so she does know who this is all about. Then she could tell us where he is. Shut up, you fuckers! I will not allow you to take her back to that filthy multiverse full of impure ones. This is totally unacceptable. Then you won't hand her over to us after all we did to get here? Damn you, then I'll finish you. My father has to go back to the way he was before. Neen, please don't do it. You are no match for her. Don't even think about it. I'm sorry, Goku, but I can't let all our efforts have been in vain. At that moment, Neen would attack the Supreme Deity Azuna. But Azuna would accidentally see her eyes, and it would turn her to stone. It can't be. What have you done to curse Neen? She herself warned us. How could she be so careless? Her rage and anger caused her to be unprepared, damn it. What a stupid woman. Now no one can undo it unless I want them to. I'm afraid she will be petrified for eternity. I don't wish that on anyone. Kagi, please tell me there must be another way to get her back to normal. I can't let her stay like this for the rest of existence. Saiyan, that woman is right. No one besides her can undo it. Unless Neen possesses a shred of purity. But that's impossible in a race of demons like ours. Saiyan, sorry, but she knew the consequences of what she did. It was her decision. We can't do anything about it, at least not now. Damn deity, at least give us that woman. Consider this as a sacrifice for you. Don't be naive. You really think I will accept just for that? You must understand that this will be impossible. You too will have the same destiny as that woman, only that you will disappear from existence. At that moment, the Archangel Kana would say, I'm sorry, Azuna. I can't hide them from you anymore. No, Kana, what are you doing? They must not know. I want to go with you to where the Demon King is. And who are you because you say so? I say it because I am the beloved of that guy. I knew that someday it would happen, that I would meet him again, the love of my life. Ah, so it was about you. Now I understand everything. But what the hell are you saying, Kana? Know perfectly well that I put a seal on you, so that you would not leave this divine multiverse. I know it, Great Azuna but I know how to undo it. However, to obey you, I have not left. No one will leave this place. They will die here. The Archangel Kana had revealed that she was the beloved of the Demon King from millions of years ago. This angered the Azuna deity, as she did not want to reveal this to those whom she considered impure. These were of the race of demons, and for this very reason she did not want it to be revealed, since it was she who separated them in the past. Because they were of very opposite races, and someone pure under no circumstances could be with someone impure. But in spite of this, Kana wanted to oppose the Azuna deity, and wanted to meet again with the Demon King. The angry Azuna deity would say, You know that won't happen, Kana. I will never allow that. No one will leave this place. Damn woman, don't you understand? It's her decision. She wants to come. That's why we came to your multiverse. No one can change my word. That is a divine law and cannot be broken. That is why I am here, to prevent pathetic beings like you from breaking it. I am sick and tired of following your orders. You only treat me like a slave and I have obeyed you for millions of years, only to follow orders. But I am tired. You do not appreciate everything I have done, and you have kept me captive of my feelings. So, Connor, you plan to die like those impure ones will. What a pity. You more than anyone else know the divine rules. Stupid divine rules. They're just bullshit. If you won't let us go, then we'll have to kill you. What a bummer. Saiyan remembers Neen. She is still turned to stone. What will happen to her? We will have to solve that. 
Now you just have to concentrate on not ending up like this, or worse. Kama would see the intentions of the Azuna deity, and it would try to stop it. Don't touch them. They will be the ones who will lead me to it. I don't think you understand yet, Kana. At that moment, the deity would show some of her power, exerting a great pressure that invaded the whole place, making everyone feel their bodies heavy, and all that pressure pushed them down, making them fall to the ground. What's wrong? I can't be able to move. I feel as if something giant is crushing me. All my muscles are contracted. Azuna forgot that many of her teachings did not work against pure beings like her. This had no effect on Kana. Queen Azuna, don't you think that if I am facing you it is for a reason? If I knew that I could not do anything against you, I would never do this. I know that your power is unimaginable, and I will never be as powerful as you are, but I know a way to defeat you. Don't say stupid things, Kana. Neither you nor those pathetic impure ones could do anything against my divine power, which the four celestial divinities granted me. But what? What did she say? Did she mention four divinities? Wait, that means that there are beings more powerful than her. You know about that, Kagi? This is not the time to explain it, Saiyan. I will tell you later. On the other hand, the Demon King and Zarama were fighting, after both of them used all their power. This was causing an imbalance in reality. I see that you have become much stronger, brother. Before you were not even able to give me a little fight, you were a little pitiful. But now things look interesting. So this seems like a game to you, brother. Don't you know my intentions with you, stupid? This is not a battle just to ask for our power. We are fighting to survive. I will kill you with my own hands. Only one of you will get out of here alive. You will pay for all the mockery you have done to me all these millions of years. You only deserve death. I see. So he really thinks about going seriously. Then I should not hold back even a little with him. I will also have to kill him. It's a pity that this ends up like this because of his stupidity. The loss of memory affected him a lot. Both at that moment were giving all of themselves, and although the battle seemed evenly matched, little by little it was leaning in favor of the Demon King. Leaving Zorama stunned by this, but what is happening? I am fighting with all my power, and I am feeling inferior to my brother, but what the hell? This cannot be happening. It is impossible. But what's going on, brother? Why are you making that face? Perhaps you have realized who is really stronger. Now just wait for your death. I will enjoy this as you have no idea, you bastard. At that moment, the Demon King with all his anger reflected in his face would appear on Zarama's back, hitting him a big blow in the face, which made him crash into several planets, destroying them instantly. With a single blow he did this to me, but perhaps he was hiding that great power. I understand why my father forbade him to use it, but it can't be that he is being lowered before my brother. At this rate he will only kill me. What am I supposed to do? Never before had someone surpassed me. This feeling of weakness destroys me inside. The Demon King would continue hitting Zarama continuously without stopping. He would perform one of his techniques, which made several giant rocks crush him. But he was able to get rid of them, and so he would say, I've had enough, brother. I will have to erase you from existence with my supreme technique. At that moment, Zarama would do his technique called the Eternal Sun. This technique incinerated from existence everything it touched, including the user's soul. This would perform the Eternal Sun against the Demon King, and it seemed to be affecting him, but it was really just an act of his brother. Idiot. You thought you would kill me with that technique? It may have worked with other opponents, but with me that is impossible. I am at a much higher level than yours. What you feared so much would happen is now right in front of your eyes. It never crossed your mind even a little that you would be overcome, but it is what has happened. My technique of the Eternal Sun is infallible. How come I didn't cause absolutely nothing? This has never happened before. No opponent I have faced has been able to survive this. What the hell? Now it's my brother's turn. I think I've played with you enough. Now it's time for you to disappear. The Demon King would do his most powerful technique, which would be enough to exterminate the Great Zarama, and he would throw it against his brother. After so long, brother, die. At that moment, the power was about to hit Zarama, but at that moment, Remy appeared to save him, and it hit her, ending her life completely. Before disappearing, she teleported Zarama to another place in existence, and made this attack impact with her, to make the Demon King believe that he had already killed Zarama. It can't be Remy. Because you did this, 
You didn't have to. I will never forget what you did, but it was very cowardly for me to run away from a battle. If my destiny was to lose and die, I had to accept it. But anyway, I understand what you did to protect me, Remy. Meanwhile, the Demon King felt completely full and happy at that moment, because he had finally won against his brother and for eliminating him. At that moment, he remembered those guys who ran away from him, and thought, Now I just need to exterminate those cockroaches, which annoyed me too much, and I can dominate everything that belongs to me. At that moment, he started to look for them all over the multiverse, causing a lot of destruction everywhere he went. It was not long before the whole multiverse would be completely destroyed. On the other hand, in the Divine Multiverse, Kagi would say, I am feeling it. It is looking for us to kill us too. At this rate, it will finish with the whole multiverse without realizing it. We have to stop it fast. Kana, you must hurry to do whatever it is you are going to do. We must go quickly to him. I am also sensing his great anger and power, even though we are not in another multiverse. I told you, no one should escape. They were still on the ground, for even the deity was exercising his power against them. Now if you are impure, it is time for you to be erased right now. I see, I am not even able to face her. I am pathetic. The deity Azuna would say, Divine Destroyer. But in that instant, Kana would say, I told you, deity Azuna, you won't stop us. I sacrificed one of my two divine hearts for this. I hope the deal works or I'm lost. At that moment, Kana would say, Heavenly Gates. This technique required a lot of power, and that is why the Archangel gave one of her divine hearts to the four celestial divinities, so that they would grant her enough power to imprison the Azuna deity. Azuna would see this and be surprised. What are you doing? You think you can do something with that? At that moment, she would feel very strong chains that enclosed her body. What happens? I can't move. I feel like I'm locked up. Damn, Kana. What did you do to me? You will pay for this. Kana would tell Goku, Saiyan, this will be enough to keep her unable to do anything, at least for a long time. This will be enough to go. Impressive. I don't know how the hell you did it, but you helped us a lot. Well, we should leave quickly. At that moment, they would go to the multiverse to which they belonged, but they had to go through the intermediate dimension, which was hell, but they could pass it without many problems. And after a while, they found the Demon King, who was destroying everything in his path. But Kana had appeared before him, and she would say to him, Or do you tell me that you don't, Sail? These words not only left the Demon King surprised, but also the others in the place, since nobody knew his name. But how? So his name is Sail. For some reason, nobody ever knew his name. I see. So only that woman knew about it. That's why it's impossible for her to have forgotten it like she did with us. The Demon King stared at her for several minutes, in which some tears could be seen on his face. It can't be. It's impossible. It's really you, Kana. Can't you see? That's right, it's me. But I thought I would never see you again. I must be dreaming. Millions of years ago, that woman called Azuna separated us, because our races were not compatible. And when I was defeated by her, she assured me I would never see you again. She was very powerful, and I could not avoid it in any way. How did you get here? Well, I never would have been able to come here if it weren't for those guys. They were behind the Demon King's back, but he didn't know which guys Kana was referring to, so he would turn around and see them at that moment. No, it's not true. You say it was those bastards. But what's wrong with them? What's your problem with them? Why did you change your attitude so quickly? All this time, I was looking for them to kill them. They tried to oppose me. But what are you talking about, Sail? They are not your enemies. According to what they told me, they were really your friends, and you appreciated them too much. But at one point, because of having lost against your brother Zarama, you decided to release all your hidden power, which was abysmal. And then you suffered the curse of your father, which was that you lost all your memories, after he imposed that curse on you. That's why you only remember me, and your brother, because we knew you before that day. You say I lost my memory. I don't understand. There's no way I can get that into my head. You're implying that I really did know those bastards, and that we were very close. There's no way I can believe you. I doubt my father would have done that to me. He would never have dared. Don't be naive. It's obvious why he did it. Realize, 
He had to do it necessarily. He knew the great power you had and how dangerous it could be. For that same reason he imposed the curse on you, because he never wanted that power to come to light, because it could put all his creation at risk. Ah, <sighs> but although I don't want to believe it, that makes sense. But even knowing this, I can't help but want to end their lives. Hey Kagi, I think we should find another solution. Not even the person he loves the most in the world is able to make him change his perspective. The only person he appreciates is her. Something has to be done. Now that Kana is with us, I know a way to make him recover all his memories. But the problem is that Neen is still petrified. Kana would see this and tell them, Calm down. I know how to get her back to normal. As the deity Azuna once mentioned, she just needs a little purity to reverse the petrification. At that moment, Kana would give some of her pure power to Neen, and at that moment, the body of this one had finally begun to depetrify. But this process took some time, since there was not much purity that she had received. And Kana could not give her much more, since she spent all her energies in sealing the supreme deity Azuna. I am sorry, Kana, but even if it is false or true what you say, I must kill them. They are an obstacle in my way. I must kill them. This has nothing to do with you, Kana. Please don't get involved. This is my problem. Idiot. Just wait a few minutes and you will see what will happen. Don't be so desperate. That behavior disgusts me. For some reason you not only lost your memories, but the power consumed you and made you colder and darker. Only with her that part stops reflecting. Shut up, you damn Saiyan. You're just in my way. I think it's stupid that you and I have been friends. Really. With someone as pathetic as you. Don't make me laugh. Too bad. It's hard for me to recognize you now. I've had enough of you. I'll kill you. Now that I've killed my brother, all I need to do is kill you. The Demon King would increase all his power, and this would attack the Saiyan. At that moment, Goku could not perceive a single one of his movements, and the Demon King was hitting the Saiyan with all his blows. Goku, you must hold on longer. Nin is not yet completely petrified. There are still a few minutes left. Please hold on as long as you can. Okay, Kagi. I'll try. But at this rate, he'll end up killing me before that. His speed is supreme. It seems as if only the air itself is hitting me non-stop. It would be a few minutes, and Goku was being brutally beaten. He was being smashed into the ground repeatedly. Neen, please hurry up. At this rate, Goku can't take it. Please, Sail, please stop. Please don't go on. Don't let this evil consume you. But despite the words of the Archangel Kana, the Demon King seemed to ignore them. We only had to wait a little longer. But at that moment something would happen, and that is that the petrification of Neen was reversing, and it was beginning to petrify again. But what is happening? Why is it reversing? It can't be. It was too little pure power. I was exhausted and that's why it's petrifying again. It needs much more than that in order to stop being turned to stone. But I have no energy. Impossible. It's too late. Goku's efforts were useless, even if they repeat the process again. There won't be enough time. I'm sorry, Saiyan. He will kill my father. There is no salvation. We are lost. Our efforts were in vain. There is nothing we can do. It seems that this is the end. I'm sorry I couldn't do anything to help you. If only Nin were well, only a ritual would be enough, between his daughter and his beloved, to create a bond between the three of them, and thus break the great curse. But now that is impossible. Everything is against us. We will surely die. And at that moment, the Demon King would say to the Saiyan, It's time for you to disappear from this existence. The time has come for you to die. After I kill you, I will do the same with all of them. The Demon King would do his final technique, the most powerful one. He would charge it and would be about to throw it at the Saiyan. But at that moment, Goku thought, I can't die now. It can't end this way. It's impossible for me to allow it. No one knew this, but while I was in the Divine Multiverse, I heard about the deal that woman made with those four celestial beings. And at that time I spoke to them in my mind, and offered to serve them for eternity in exchange for power. But they could only give me something called the Divine Eye. They told me that it acted differently on each person, and could only be carried by worthy beings, and that it would be activated at a time when death was about to happen. I believe that this is the moment. The others who saw this thought, what happens, because Goku doesn't move. Did he already accept his death? 
Well, I think we should all accept it. The Demon King would launch the attack to Goku, and this would impact against the Saiyan. But at that moment, a great light invaded the place, and this had absorbed the power that the Demon King had launched. What's going on? What is that light? I, I can't see. At that moment, Eren would realize what was happening and say, I should have imagined. My father would never give up like that. Next, the light that was in the place would vanish, and a Goku with a terrifying power had appeared. And this one would say, I am tired of you. This is my new power, and with this, I will put an end to you, Sail.